It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. So we're up and running. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Di Marco. Bastoni. Mancini. Bastoni. It's an inviting looking ball that. To Jorginho. Raspadori. Looking for the runner. That is a brilliant interception. And that's a foul. A simple decision for the referee. Clearly not happy with that. Italy have stated their intent in no uncertain terms. They really are going at this full tilt. Mancini. Moved on forwards. Well, there's the clearance. Italy do love to play with a bit of width, Jim. Yeah, and just notice the way when they ping it out wide, the prompt for those in central midfield to make their forward runs and they're looking to get on the end of whatever arrives can he finish Tries to get it clear. Bastoni. Jorginho. Diving header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. And it's played forward. Di Marco. Forwards and with intent. Israel so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo crosses. And they can counter here. A heavy challenge. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. 
That's very neat. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. Oh, great header! And he's had a shot! Goal, Italy! And Italy score first! Not so much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody-mindedness. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Italy draw first blood here and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on and that is as far as they're going to go Di Marco Chiesa and play crossfield changing the point of attack Raspadori Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, it's not a surprise to see that these days, all part of a forward's duties. Now it's Chiesa. So, what can they make of this? That's positional gold, the utilisation of space. Gets the shot away! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. He'll try to keep this alive. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. He is just caressing the ball. Tries to cross. He can get that clear. And they're quick to get it back. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Already up and running for the second half. Israel need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just... Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. And that has left him in a heap. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Di Marco. Barella. Di Marco. Raspadori's cross. There's much frustration as to the lack of a touch to finish that off.
Di Marco. And it's Jorginho. Bastoni. Move forward and quickly so. Referee's given a throw. Now then, the ball's come loose. Now, looking to orchestrate a counter. No, he's not going to get any further than that. Italy needed that. They really needed it. Well, I thought they got off lightly there. The odds were stacked against them. Raspatori. Natko. Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, it's come loose. He's trying his best to keep it in play here. Stood up well to him there. It's run loose here. Israel showing a little more urgency now and to be honest Peter this is what's required they're coming again and again you know the interest value in this game might just take off from here oh good spread gently done and there's his chance to lead the counter. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, considering they're only one down, they're closer to conceding a second than scoring a leveller. Out to the right. Played out to the right. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. And he's in on goal! Great hit! Oh, the ball's run loose here. Oh, that could cost them. That was extremely good focus from the keeper, and it could turn out to be quite a significant moment. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. And it's Natko. Out towards the flank. Israel really might just end up kicking themselves after that. That could well have been it. Shifted upfield. Sends it forward. Forwards and with intent. Played out to the left flank. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Jorginho Barella Di Marco There's the crossfield ball Israel looking to And the referee brings it to a close